come to part three of the mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro. So if you've watched part one in part two, welcome to part three. If you haven't watched part one and part two, I recommend that you go back and watch this so that we'll be able to follow each other here. So in part three of our mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro, we're going to be looking at uh, vocal configuration to actually get the mix that you need. So I'll teach you a trick that you can use. So if you've watched part one and if you've watched part two of this series, mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro, then let's get started. So to configure our vocals, if I click on my vocal on my lead vocal here so what we we'll just add some eq here on this one so i'll select this and i'll just solo this one so that we play only this vocal so i'm going to start from here so if i if i press play do that then we'll go here. So if I press play. So one important thing that we need to do uh, cut out some low ends. So to do that, uh, I'm going to switch on this. And then I'll just drag that uh, somewhere. Uh, let's put zero here. And we can put 120 here. We can put 120 on this one. Then below here, we can put uh, the value of 7. Okay. So from there, we can switch on our next and switch on the other one and the other one. So you can play this and then just run with this until the point where you feel uh, it actually sounds good. So I feel like I should raise some eyes a little bit. Cause she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection. Even when I'm lost, I got no worry, she my direction. Get love, we die for you. I am a man on my way. I'm never gonna leave your side. Eh. Alright, so I think that one is okay for me. So what, what I'll do is um, just copy this because I'm going to put it on all my lead vocals now. So I'll just click on that drop down there. Then copy channel settings and I'll move from here and do it on all my lead vocals. Come here and paste channel settings. There we have it. Then I'll do the same for all these. Paste channel settings. I'm going to do the same for all these. Best channel settings and I'll do the same for the backing vocals so I'll do the same for all these so this doesn't necessarily mean we can't change them so as we go on depending on how you feel that the vocal is you can actually go to each individual channel and change these settings you can touch them and do whatever this is just our beginning point so now we're going to look at levels 